Good evening guys, this is Teacher SP and welcome to my channel. So today I will be teaching you on how to evaluate the six trigonometric function in a given problem. This is a continuation of our previous lesson. Last time I have discussed what is Sokotoa and then we are going to get the trigonometric function using angle A, angle B in a right triangle. So now, we are going to evaluate, guys, the six trigonometric function in a given problem. So like, for example, in a given triangle ABC, given 3, 6, 9 centimeters respectively, we are going to evaluate angle A and angle B. So what are we going to do? We are going to draw a right triangle, and we are going to label this as our angle C. So take note, so when we say angle C, it's a big letter. And opposite of it is side C. And this is angle A. Opposite of it is side A. And this is angle B. And opposite of it is side B. So we are going to get are given 3, 6, 9 centimeters respectively. So we don't know where is the hypotenuse, where is the base there, and where is the height. So since 9 centimeters is the longest side, so what are we going to do is side C is 9. Okay? And the 6 here is your height or the altitude, and your base is 3 centimeters. Okay? We are going to evaluate angle A using the six trigonometric function, which are the sine, cosine, and tangent. These are the three primary functions and the co-functions of it. Okay, here, sine A, so sine A, the given angle is A. When we say so, that is opposite over hypotenuse. So angle A, opposite of it is 6 over the hypotenuse, which is 9. So, 6 over 9. So, guys, you, if you're going to check it, guys, 6 over 9, can we reduce it to simplest form? What number can we divide both 6 and 9? So, that is 3, right? So, 6 divided by 3 is equal to 2 over 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. So therefore, sine A is 2 thirds. Okay? Now, let us get now the next is what we call the cosine A, the co, that is adjacent over hypotenuse. So when we say adjacent, this is the nearest side in a given angle. So the angle A adjacent of it is 3 over the hypotenuse, which is 9. So, let us check. 3 over 9, can we simplify that to lowest term? What number can we divide both 3 and 9? Diba? 3. So, 3 divided by 3, that is equal to 1 over 9 divided by 3 is equal to 1 third. Okay. Next is what we call the tangent. The towa. So when we say towa, that is opposite over adjacent. So the given angle, guys, is angle A opposite of it is 6 over the adjacent side, which is 3. So that is equal to 3. So if you are going to simplify it, guys, 6 and 3, so that will be equal to 2. So it means to say a whole number before I told you that all whole numbers, the denominator is equal to 1. So, these are the primary function. We have to get now the co-function of these three primary functions. So, we know that sine, the co-function of that, guys, is C, S, C, which is cosecant. So, cosecant A. You don't need to go back to this right triangle. What are you going to do? You have to get only, it's the inverse or the reciprocal. Okay? So, since the opposite, the two-thirds, babalik tarin mo lang, and that is equal to 
3 over 2. And then the cofunction of cosine, guys, is second. Second A is equal to one third. Get the inverse of it. So that will be 3 over 1 or 3. You can use also 3, right? And then the tangent, the cofunction of tangent is cotangent A that is equal to 2. So get the reciprocal of that that is equal to 1 half because your denominator is 1. So babalik tarin mo, that is equal to 1 half. So therefore guys, that the 6 trigonometric functions of angle A are this one. Okay? So did you get it guys? So thank you. But now, let us get now the 6 trigonometric functions of angle B. Okay, I will be giving you only the primary functions and what are we going to do is you have to get the cofunction of the three primary functions. So you go back to the given. So angle B, when you're going to get the six trigonometric functions of angle B, guys, it's this is our given. So, so it's opposite. So since the given angle is opposite is here, so that will be sine B is equal to 3 over the hypotenuse, which is 9. So if you're going to simplify this, so that will be divided by 3, 3. So 3 divided by 3, guys, is equal to 1 over 9 divided by 3 is equal to 3. So therefore, sine B is equal to 1 third. And next is what we call cosine B. It's ka is adjacent. So the adjacent of angle B is 6, right? The nearest side in a given angle. So that will be 6 over the hypotenuse, which is 9. So if you are going to divide it by 3, so that will be 6 divided by 3, that is equal to 2 over 9 divided by 3, that is equal to 3. So that is equal to 2 thirds. And the last one, that is tangent B, which is the towa, that is opposite, which is 3 over the adjacent, that is equal to 6. So if you are going to divide both number, that is by 3, by 3, so 3 divided by 3 is 1, over 6 divided by 3 is 2, that is 1 half. So these are the primary function of the angle B. So what are you going to do, guys? I will give you a homework or the task. So what are you going to do if you are watching right now? You have to get the cofunction of the sine, the cofunction of cosine, and the <coughs> cofunction of tangent. So, I will end my lesson today and don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and hit the notification bell so that you will be able to notify whatever videos I'm going to upload. Thank you so much guys for watching and have a great day everyone.